Creating a countdown timer in Python can be a fun and educational project. Below, I lied you through the process of building a simple console-based countdown timer using the time module. Overview of the countdown timer. A countdown timer is a program that counts down from a specified time to zero. In this example, we will 1. Get the countdown time from the user in seconds. Display the remaining time in the console. Update the countdown every second until it reaches zero. Requirements Basic Understanding of Python Syntax Python installed on your machine. You can download it from Python org at school, Python org downloads. Step-by-step -step Tutorial 1 Import required modules. We will need the time module for creating delays in the countdown. Get user input. We will ask the user how long they want the countdown to be. Countdown logic we will use a loop to count down from the specified time. Display remaining time we will print the time remaining in a formatted way. End of countdown once the countdown reaches zero we will print a message indicating that the time is up. Sample code here is a simple implementation of a countdown timer in Python. Python import time def countdown timer seconds while seconds mins sextiv mod seconds 60 convert seconds to minutes and seconds timer toward toward format mins sex format the timer print timer and reprint the timer on the same line time sleep on wait for one second seconds on decrement the seconds print times up message when the countdown is finished to def main tree total seconds int input enter the time in seconds get the input from user countdown timer total seconds call the countdown function accept value error print please enter a valid integer importing libraries we import the time library for handling time related tasks defining the countdown function countdown timer seconds this function takes seconds as input and manages the countdown inside the function we use a while loop that continues until seconds is zero. The divmod seconds 60 function divides the total seconds into minutes and seconds. We format the time as a string in the format ms and print it. The ender parameter in the print function allows us to overwrite the same line in the console, creating a dynamic countdown effect. Main function we prompt the user to enter the countdown time in seconds. We convert this input to an integer and pass it to the countdown timer function. If the input is not a valid integer, it catches the exception and prompts the user to enter a valid number. Running the program the if name main block ensures that the main function runs only when the script is executed directly. Running the countdown timer 1. Save the code in a file named countdown timer pi. Open a terminal or command prompt. Navigate to the directory where the file is located. Run the script using the command bash python countdown timer pi5. Enter the countdown time in seconds when prompted. Conclusion You now have a basic countdown timer in Python. You can enhance this further by adding features like sound notifications when the time is up. A graphical user interface using libraries like Tinter. Additional input validation for more user-friendly behavior. Feel free to experiment and modify the code to suit your needs.